Hopkins has killed at least one person in Ashland. Let's get right to Channel 3's Maureen Kyle for the developments. Well, Robin, I want to update you on what's happening at this moment. They're trying to clear the scene as best they can. As you can see right here, semi-trucks are trying to just clear away some of the wreckage. Now, that's what's left of the pickup truck's trailer that had smashed into a tree near the home. Firefighters just a few short minutes ago were still working to keep hot spots under control. Power crews just restored the lines knocked down by the accident. Here's what we know so far. Around 2.15, a semi-truck carrying bananas and a pickup truck carrying three people collided in this intersection. The pickup and part of the semi crashed into the house on the corner and all three caught fire. A witness, another truck driver, saw the entire horrific scene and sprung into action. Here's what he had to say. I just immediately jumped out my truck and I kind of freaked out about it, but my first my first reaction was to save somebody's life. And um, I ran to the accident right here, and um, it, it was on fire. Everything was on fire, and I grabbed a semi driver. I put him to the side of the curb, and I went to the, the white pickup pickup truck, and I grabbed two more guys. But the driver of the truck, he was dead on impact. The two passengers and the driver of the semi truck, at, from what we know, did not have life threatening injuries, and they are being treated. The name of the deceased driver has not been released. The homeowner, who you can actually see here, she's standing here just a few feet from us in a Red Cross blanket. Now, she was inside the home at the time. She was actually inside the uh, kitchen when the semi-truck came crashing through her living room. We talked to her earlier at 6 o'clock. She's just, uh, I could tell she was just in shock and amazed that she made it out alive. And unharmed, she had just a few dogs with her inside the house. No one else was in the house. Really, Robin, this is somewhat of a miracle story in her case. As you could see, her home just completely caught on fire. All of her belongings are now just reduced to pretty much charcoal. So it's going to be a long night for her and for people who are still cleaning up this scene. It really is a miracle looking at those horrific pictures. It's amazing that just uh, one life is lost. Maureen Powell reporting for us right here. Thank you very much. Well, it is not that far.